Hello and hi everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining in. It is me, Magical Matthias, and today I've got a Rainbow High review. Um, so this is Rainbow High Victoria Whitman, and as you can see, I found her on sale for $15. Um, so the new, I think this is like series four, it's like $26 or so. Um, but I did find her on sale at Walmart for $15, and I actually got two of them because I've seen so many things about the variants and all the little tiny freckles that she has. So I want to kind of look at them and see a little bit of a difference. So I'll show you guys. So here is Miss Victoria in the box. On the side of the box, you can see that she is a fashion design focus. So I definitely need her right now. Um, she comes with this really cute blush pink sewing machine. She has a hair dryer with the atomizer. Um, she has a little cell phone case, makeup kit, two hangers. Um, she comes with a stand, a brush and um, this cute outfit. So she's your, they call her the light pink character, but she's definitely like a, like a sandy blush, if that, I don't even know, like a peach. Um, but here she is in the box. She's so cute. I love all the little um, artwork designs that they have. So here she is on the back of the box, um, and that's her friend, Olivia. So it says, Rainbow High doesn't follow trends. We make them. Watch out, Shadow High. In the world of fashion, we always make the cut. Ooh. So, um, yeah, I love that. And on the back of the box, in their artwork, you can even see... Can you guys see that? Where are you? Um, you can see that she has all those tiny little freckles. And then if you go over to Olivia, she has those nails. So, yeah. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead, and I've already got my other Victoria out of the box, so I'll show you her, and I'll kind of compare the two. So here is my out-of-the-box Victoria, and let me get her up here for you. You can see all of those teeny tiny little freckles, and this one, she had a little bit of like a glitch in her eye, like it looked like it was scuffed or something, but she also has those little freckles all over her entire body, so as you can see, um, she has little tiny pearls that are kind of just hot fixed into the actual chiffon fabric um and she's got this really cute little floral top it's kind of complicated but i do love it and it does tie in the back um her earrings they seem like they would dangle but they they like they seem like they would be separate but they're all one piece so they're very sturdy um she's got really pretty eyes um and let's see if you can see her eyebrows so there is this Victoria. I love her so much. Um, her sand is a light blush pink. Like I said, she comes with this little sewing machine. And let's see, is this one? Yay! Oh, I love that they work. Okay, so if you twist this thing on the side of the sewing machine, it works. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I'm not like that. Like, the sewing machine that came with Jet Dawson, like, it's super cool. But, like, it wasn't blush pink. I love this. This is the best. I love this. Um, so let's see. Here is her little makeup kit, and it's honestly really cute. So here it is, she has a little mirror. What a good idea. And like, it's like an eyeshadow palette. So I love that, that's a cute little idea. Here's her hair dryer, and you can take off the atomizer. So like, there's all of these like, intricate things. Oh no, where did I put her phone case? Um, so I did manage to lose her phone case somehow, and like, I haven't moved her at all, so I don't even know. Um, but here's her phone. Um, it's got a picture of her. She's scrolling through the gram, and she looks like she has a new iPhone. Um, and here are her hangers for her non-second outfit. A little brush, and like, what did I do? I literally, I have no idea what I did with that phone case. So look in the box, and you can kind of see where it is. It's right there. It's got little hearts. Yeah, it's got little hearts. It's like the stereotypical rainbow high phone case that everybody else has. So let's get into the fun part of this. Um, I decided to open up this Victoria because there is definite, definite differentiation between the two freckles and the face pains. I'm not sure if it's each doll has its own like unique splatter as far as how they got the freckles on there, um, but you can definitely see that this one has really nice, like subtle freckles. Um, and I don't know, like the other one just looks very different. Like this one, her hair is kind of disheveled in the box, but if you look like underneath her eyes, she has two lines, like right in like her eye crease right here, or not in the eye crease, like right in the, what's that called? Like this part of your eye, like the bottom lid. 
Um, but she has like a little white line and then her freckles are like, they're more intense. And they're also like in different places than the other doll. So definitely, I mean, if you've got a few near you, like at a store, look through them and see if you, if they all have different patterns. These are the only two dolls that this Walmart had and I haven't really seen her out in the wild recently. So I haven't been looking, but I do love this one. I love her so much. This one, she doesn't have um, as intense of that white line underneath her eye. Um, and then also this one has like white lines on her eyebrow, which you really can't even see with this. So they're different, but um, yeah, and also her nails. So she just has the normal rainbow high hand. Um, it's not even really like that extended fingernail, honestly, um, but it's painted a blush pink. And it's, it's strange because all the rest of the dolls from this series, they had this nail, which is like, I can't, I, I personally just can't really deal with that. Not on like a, I don't know. I just feel like specifically some of the characters needed to have like a more adventurous aesthetic versus like delicate fingernails. I feel like I'm gonna get this caught on a bunch of stuff, but I just really like don't want Olivia specifically to have those nails, maybe somebody else. So I'm curious to see if there's anybody else who matches her skin tone so that I can switch those out. But that is Miss Victoria for you guys. Like I said, I found her for $15. You cannot beat that. And I do love all the variants that um, each doll has. It makes each doll very unique and they each kind of have their own personality. Like these two do not look the same if you look at them in the box. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Magical Matthias out.